Okay, after you get your company vendors organized, you want to establish the product multipliers that are appropriate for your company. Uh, one important thing to take note of is only company administrators are going to be able to set or change the multiplier values. When you initially add a vendor, all of the multiplier values in you know, that vendor's product systems are going to be set equal to one for you. So when you look at the vendors that have been included, um, you know, Bolt Depot is uh, an online hardware retailer. So there are some systems that require screws, little parts like that. We want to make the uh, application easy to establish, um, you know, the best cost basis. We want to include as much, you know, pre-populated data as possible for everyone. So uh, they don't have a, a breakdown of product groups and systems. So we just created one, uh, named it general. And also we're telling you that the multiplier should be left at one. So we use pricing that's readily publicly available online. And if you use the multiplier of one, then your proposals are going to include the value of what you can buy without any special discounts anywhere. That way you're not getting harmed by not including enough money in the projects that you're bidding on. Um, changing these values is quite simple. You just click on the group and set a new multiplier. So it could be greater than one, less than one, whatever value you want to assign. Um, the stored pricing in the database, the list pricing for these vendors is going to be multiplied by your multiplier. And that is how we determine your cost on that material. Um, one other, one other quick note you want to scroll down through here before you get too far into this. You notice that we have a one plus that, that energy surcharge usually is going to be, um, a value of 7%, 8%, 10%. It, it really depends. Um, but this, uh, plus is, is intended to draw your attention to maybe the need to allow for that energy surcharge. Um, so you'd want to uh, set your surcharges according to the correct rate based on today's most current price. And that's about all there is to establishing your correct multipliers.